Yes, today is a brand new day. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and it is an honor to have you with us today. We would also want to welcome all those who are visiting with us for the first time. If you're from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer and accept our gift of love to you. Our love goes out to all of our online viewers all over America. May the peace of God be in your homes or wherever you are. It's a regular week here at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday noonday prayer. Stop in for your lunch break. Tuesday Bible study is at 7 p.m. And also, the School of Prayer is on Thursday nights at 6.15 p.m. Now, also on Thursday night at 7 o'clock is the Fire Ministry, which is the Free Indeed Recovery Experience. This week's topic is Habit Number 2, Victorious Christians Control Their Thought Life. The Fire Ministry, Thursday nights at 7 o'clock. Join us. Get ready for Worship Night 2019. We cry out. You can pre-order Worship Night t-shirts in the foyer after service. Worship Night will be held on March 22nd. All married couples, you're invited to attend the Marriage Ministry Night this Friday, February 22nd at 7 p.m. Come and be built up in your marriage with a word from Pastor Omar and First Lady Chantel Tebow. Mark your calendars for Renewed Life Night on April 12th. An event by True Vision starts at 7 o'clock. It's a free event. Bring a friend to tag along. Let's pack the church for Yahweh for His glory. Right now, it's time for your good news of the week. Let's congratulate an anniversary. Ronald and Sarah Benjamin celebrated their 28th year anniversary on February 16th. Happy anniversary to the Benjamins. Let's also celebrate the four-year anniversary to Brian and Latoya Malvo, who made four years on February 14th. Happy anniversary to the Malvos. Stuart Lockett, son of sister Kim Lockett, was at the White House in Washington, D.C. He met many people in the political arena in the White House serving currently. The Lord has great things for him to do to help change the world for the Lord's glory. This past weekend in Shreveport, Louisiana, was the high school state wrestling tournament. Tyrant Clay placed fourth in the 126-pound weight class, and Taylor Clay concluded his senior year as the two-time state champion in the 160-pound weight class. Taylor also finished with a record of 28-1. Congratulations. Congratulations to Jeremiah Wilson, who just got accepted to LSU, a fast-track PCA student who will soon graduate in May, graduating a year early. He's been at PCA since the fifth grade. Congratulations. Let's congratulate two of our PCA basketball players who were awarded with all district and all state awards this weekend. The first one, Cardell Thibodeau with All-District and First Team All-State. Also, Ronald R.J. Charlo with All-District and Second Team All-State. Go Eagles! Sister Stephanie Williams was part of the Karen Crow Outpatient Clinic team who for the third year in a row has been recognized as the Philanthropy Team of the Year. From giving back to St. Jude's, Box Top Collections, Hunger and Homeless Drive, in a toy drive, this team impacted the lives of so many in their community. Congratulations. Calvin and Brenda Jarnett will celebrate 40 years of marriage on February 23rd. Hallelujah. What God has joined together can no man separate. Congratulations. Well, y'all, there is a special little person in my life whose birthday is today. My wife and I are truly blessed to have her as our daughter. So we want to give a happy seven-year-old birthday to our daughter, Darla Malvo. Yeah! Happy birthday. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, 
please email phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com by noon on Fridays. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com by noon on Fridays. Well, Philadelphia family visitors and also our online family, stand to your feet. It's worship time. 